Kyocera's Hydro Wave doesn't look very rugged, but that's a good thing. This fairly average budget Android phone is designed to take a beating and it's waterproof. I'm Nate with CNET and today we're taking a look at a device that could be a good fit if you're a little accident prone. It's available on T-Mobile for just 150 bucks, but you can find it fairly cheaper elsewhere. The Hydro Wave isn't all that much to write home about. The 5 inch display has a fairly low 960 by 540 pixel resolution, which means it's not going to be an ideal option if you want to stream high quality HD videos or show off photos. But even in spite of that low resolution, it isn't a terrible display. The viewing angles are generous, so you can see things clearly even when you hold the phone at an odd angle. The phone is powered by a 1.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. There's 4 gigs of available storage space for you to work with, and a lot of that is taken up by preloaded junk that you can't remove. You're going to want to pick up a micro SD card. It can support up to 32 gigs. You can get to the card slot by prying off the back cover. The battery isn't removable, but I've seen an average of about 8 hours and 40 minutes thus far on our video playback battery drain test. I've still got some testing to do there though. The phone is also impact resistant, dust proof, and can survive in up to 3 meters of water for up to 30 minutes. At $150, the Kyocera Hydrowave isn't really going to blow anyone away. But that's fairly inexpensive, and it could come in handy if you find yourself dropping your phone to puddles a lot. I'm Nate Ralph. Be sure to check out our full review on CNET to see how it stacks up to the rest of the budget smartphones out there. Thanks for watching.